You didn't? Hmm. Well, hopefully this is enough. Well, we'll just go until it's empty. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Man. Okay, we're ready, right? 18 seconds in. I think this is I good for the replay. On my phone yet. Here it is. Oh, got it. Perfect. Turn out the live chat. And this the live chat. And oh, and away we go. Does anyone know what that's a reference from? And away we go. And away. I have no idea. Carol says, "Dude." Oh, now you put too much in there. Could you put a little milk in there, please? Just really? A, just a spot of milk. Just a Are spot. Are you serious? <laughs> no way. Ashley made me chocolate milk that's uh, like the stirrable stuff, and it didn't taste like it. And then so I asked her to put a little more in there, and then she just put way like, too much in. Uh, for all those folks who know what this is, let's continue. For those of you who don't know what this is, let me explain. 12 Days of Christmas gift away here on our channel is about, uh, you know, it's like saying thanks for supporting us in the various ways you do. We want to give you something. Goldilocks situation. Let's see if it's good. Too much milk? No, that's good. Okay. Thank you. Um, Sounds echoey. Oh, okay, turn that one off. Blurry and your sound has echo to it. I don't believe that it should be blurry. Sounds like you're talking in barrels. Okay, for some reason these, these microphones don't work close to each other sometimes and other times they work fine. Anyway, what we're doing is giving away something every day for the first 12 days of Christmas. Hopefully they get to you before Christmas. You can open them up, you can put them under your tree, open them up, whatever, you already know what they're going to be. Uh, but basically we play a trivia-based game, trivia based on a, on our channel and adjacent things related to our channel. Um, send any, what? We send it anywhere in the world, except for Antarctica, because uh, Damien's master lives there. <laughs> He doesn't like mail. What? Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Freaking pine cone. By the way, pine cones. People, there's a mis, what, is it called a misnomer? They, they refer to any coniferous cone as a pine cone. It's like a colloquial, wait, is that the right word? It's like Q-tip. Q-tip is a brand. It's like Kleenex, also a brand. It's like uh, Windshield. That's not a brand. What are but, they actually called? But this this is a pine cone because this is from a pine tree. But like we don't have any pine trees. Do we? No, I don't think we have any pine trees in our yard. Uh, we have... Can you my mom and dad's pine tree? They have a pine tree. A big one. Oh, yeah. We have spruce cones because we have yeah. spruce trees, oh, yeah. and they look way different, way right? Different. They're really long and skinny. Long and skinny. Crusty. And when they open up like this to release the seeds, they are still skinny. These ones are in a tight ball, and they. Anyway, for some reason, these are also Christmas decorations. Actually, do we have my one from when I was a child that I spray painted gold and put glitter on, and that was my art project when I was a kid? We don't have that one now. My mom probably has it. We should get it. Put it in our tree. Yeah. You know, I have an idea. Tomorrow's gift away is going to be one of our snowmen that we uh, that I made a long time ago. Speaking of... Uh... Anyways, we're off the rails once again. Yesterday, we started talking about money. Today, like the people on money, Canadian money. Now, today, we're talking about... Pine cones. And brands. And brands, yeah. Uh, who didn't have the spray paint glitter your pine cone project in grade school? <laughs> who didn't have, right. That, what a pathetic way to entertain kids. Like, I had, I had this 
it's not pathetic, it's, I guess. It's, it's pathetic, it's the right word. It's very, it's stupid. That's not an art project. I mean, they, I guess it is. It's lazy, though. Did you use paint? It's, it's dumb. If I had an art class, well, it would be monumentally with the same, better. With the same items, how would you do it different? Okay, so pine cones are free for the most part. Okay. So let's say that we did pine cones, okay? We could make, instead of just spray painting it and then putting some glitter on it, although maybe some people have better, have had better experience. That's all I, that's the only option I had. I could put any color glitter in any color spray paint okay. out of gold and silver. <laughs> <laughs> Two choices. Okay. Uh, what I would do is I would be like, okay, so we are going to figure out, and also, also, I wasn't allowed to spray it. So maybe I would get one of those trigger sprays. Okay. So if you wanted your, your thing to be gold, cool. Let's do it. Get a an air extractor so that you have fresh air or an air mover or whatever so that it's safe. Get the thing so you don't get spray paint all over your finger. Still spray it. Kid gets to spray it. Then you can get holiday snow spray. Ooh. Maybe spray that on there. Yeah. And then maybe that's your easy thing, but then maybe you also get to make an ornament that's uh, got some like, because that's not creative. I mean, it's somewhat creative, but like maybe you could take like some um, sticks, I guess. You know how like we made that? Yeah. That star? I just made that out of epoxy and sticks. Right, maybe you could do little versions of that. Right, then you can like weave them. I don't know. I would do it better, even if it was just spray paint. I would still do it better. I just remember thinking <laughs> it was sucked that I couldn't spray it myself. All I could do was glue the freaking glitter on, put white glue, sprinkle glitter. Yeah. Lame. That's too bad. <sighs> Josh, how much for the Christmas cone decorations that you're gonna make? LOL. <laughs> um anyway where are we at here yesterday oh i like that one wendy pine cone feeders you put peanut butter oh yeah slather on a gigantic pine cone and roll it in wild bird seed right you don't put that on your tree though that's not a christmas decoration <laughs> that's that's completely <laughs> I different i wouldn't put it on the tree but that's a good idea yeah of course it's, that's a good idea yeah i feel like a string or twine or something and then hang it outside i had this one art project we read a story or, or a news article, I can't remember, but, or maybe a series of them. Can't remember, we had a piece of paper. Actually, probably the piece of paper was like the size of this, that we had to draw our picture on, our, our adventure. So that like you had, it was like 3D though. So you had a construction paper turned into a toboggan shape, right? And then, Toboggan as in the, like the sled, not the, for some reason, some people call those, uh, call hoodies toboggans, which what? is, yeah, or even toques toboggans. That's a sled. Yeah. Anyway, and then you had, I, you had to make these characters out of tissue rolls, and then I can't remember what the heads were. Oh, like oh actually, I think, I think actually the tissue rolls were just to hold up piece of paper mm. cut out of your character. Anyway, that, that was part of the art project. And then you had to draw its environment in 2D for some reason. And I was like, okay, this is not big enough for me. Give me a bigger piece. So I got one <laughs> of those big ones, you know, like a 24 by 30. Yeah. And I had, I don't remember. Okay, for some reason, I can't remember what it was, but the reason why I'm thinking it was about Tornado or volcano? Did I mention that already? I don't know. I drew a volcano in the middle, and I drew, I think I drew a tornado as well. Anyway, my adventure was the toboggan, and the kids were jumping over the, the volcano. Wow. I, there or, was snow. Or maybe they got slung from the tornado over the volcano. Anyway, I didn't want to, I thought my picture was <laughs> so was cool adventure. that I wanted to tape my toboggan to it, not glue it, because I wanted to be able to take it off. 
and then have my cool drawing after. And I remember in my class, uh, I, I drew so good for my age group that like in the bulletin board outside of our classroom, like each class had like a bulletin board, I think. Like my drawings were always on there. And then I also went to daycare at that school and the daycare kids just came from all over the place. And so I'd be like, I drew that. I remember specifically, I drew this eagle, trash. I remember exactly how I drew it. You want to see it? <laughs> this is how I drew it. Okay. I have a, a very specific way of drawing an eagle, okay? This is blank. Hopefully it shows up. <laughs> You're laughing. Good. This is dumb. No, I wouldn't draw one that way. Still better than I could do. And you drew this on preschool? Okay, if this was preschool, it'd be pretty impressive. No, this was in like grade two. Okay. Okay, this is this is so you were like seven. This is how I drew my eagles. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I forgot the This is how I drew them. If I ever find this drawing, if my mom kept it or anything, I'm going to uh we have a box of your childhood art. Go get it. No, don't get it. I, yeah. Okay. I don't remember. This is going to go in today's box. gift away. Okay, <laughs> 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 <Yeah>, I signed <laughs> I signed it. So whoever wins today's gift away gets, gets this drawing, okay? What are we getting today? What are we getting today? I didn't show yesterday, but you may have seen it in the in the thumbnail. It's a Canadian, oh, Ashley had it all displayed nicely and I rigged it up. We have a Canadian, okay, I'm just going to show you everything one by one, okay? We got Kit Kat bars, Canadian chocolate uh, wafer bar. Uh, I know some Canadian states have this because I've seen it, uh, but it is Canadian. Smarties, but Smarties that are kind of more like M&Ms than what American Smarties are. Now, since a large part of my audience is American, I'm speaking to Americans, but this might not be available in the UK or Australia either. I don't know. I just know that these are Canadian, okay? So Smarties, they're a chocolate candy covered uh, thing. Aero Bar, these are like chocolate bubbles. <laughs> um, and then Coffee Crisp, uh, which is a... It tastes kind of like coffee, chocolate coffee wafer oh, thing. I was going to get something I forgot. Yeah? Yeah. What? I can always add it in. What is it? I was going to get a thing of Tim Hortons coffee. Oh. Do we have K-Cups? We might have a few. It would be nice to put like a pack in there. That's a good idea. We'll do that on another giveaway. Okay. Um, crunchy bar. This is Canadian as well. These are one of my favorites. Sponge toffee. It's pretty good. Um, maple syrup. This is from Alex's store when he had his store open. Um, it doesn't go bad, so. All dressed. These are new, apparently. They say they're new. Here, Lay's all dressed. Um, we prefer Ruffles all dressed because they're just a superior chip. I think Lay's must have not had all dressed till now, but anyways, Lay's was what was available, so that's what what Ashley picked they up. Had, they had Ruffles, say um, sour cream and bacon. Yeah, I don't know if that's Canadian yeah, or just that's just an I, experimental. That's why I went with the all dressed uh, These are the cheesies that I mentioned yesterday that I think are gross. I actually just had two from another bag and yep, I've, I wanted to remember why I don't like them. 
Ashley loves these. Actually, a lot of people love these. Yeah. Uh, they remind me of going to my grandma's house. She always had them. Okay. Hickory sticks. Childhood memory. Ashley found these. These hostess. Okay, hostess has kind of gone out of business several times. And sometimes their stuff is not available, but then it comes back. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if someone bought them and they're like, yeah, every once in a while we'll put out their product. I don't know. Dill pickle. I know that these are available in some American states uh, as well, but it is a Canadian flavor. And as is ketchup as well. And then, oh, forgot to put the Italiano in here. There will be Italiano in here as well. But we got some toffee, uh, Macintosh, right? Yeah, Macintosh toffee. Um, this is a Canadian toffee, but um, it tastes the same as any other toffee, honestly. <sighs> anyway, let me put all these back. Just imagine I also showed you Italiano, which oh, yeah. we just, just forgot to put in the box. But it, but it will be in the box. This box here of treats, Canadian treats, is sponsored by Anonymous. Um, they're here, I think, yeah. in the chat. Yeah, there they are. So thank you to them. They don't want to be named probably because I don't know why. They do it from the heart, not for the recognition. I don't know, maybe something like that. Anyway, that's our gift away today. Um, so whoever wins, uh, oh, and also you'll get a print as well to keep it about the art. Uh, it doesn't have to be this print, it can be any print. This print, you could buy this print if you like it and you don't win, it's $20. And then you can pick any other print available in the catalog, say it's this one. This one would become free. Potatoes Grow Underground horror movie poster. Every movie room needs this. Every kitchen needs this. Make sure that you get it. Only $20, and you can get two for the price of one. You can mix and match all you want. See what's available on the My Hands Gallery Facebook page. That one is not actually uh, on the My Hands Gallery Facebook page, but it's included. Um, that, um, that and the Gramps Chronicles one, I don't think, and the Ushitat definition, dictionary definition, is also not. Gramps. Yeah, in the Gramps one, yeah. Um, but those are also included. Uh, order from Josh at gmail.com to place your order. Please include what you would like, where you live, the your exact mailing address, because we're going to ask for it if you don't put it in there, and it's just going to take uh, an extra step. Uh, and then if you're outside of Canada, um, shoot. If you're outside of Canada then uh, uh, please include your phone number. We're not going to call you. That's just a customs thing. And uh, yeah, also, if you know how you're going to pay, just be like, hey, I'm going to pay with PayPal. I'm going to pay with credit card. credit card, Apple Pay, any of that. Then we can send you the invoice. It's, it's, it's easier than it sounds, but it will become easier in the new year, hopefully, soon. Um, also, banana bread boards, those... Uh, I sent out a bunch today, sent out a bunch last time I was at the, today it was like 350 bucks in shipping. So I think I sent out probably like, what, 15 or 20 things? More than that, yeah. So that's good. So getting those out. Uh, hopefully you guys have received them all before Christmas. Uh, I'm going to go back again tomorrow to send out some more because I actually forgot to check my PO box today. So I was like, ah, I'll come back tomorrow. Um but those are on sale, or they have a Christmas special price of $65. They come with the board. They come with the, the, the cover. They come with a recipe, and they come with the care instructions. Shipped anywhere in the world. Um, shipping prices vary depending on where you are. Now, I did have a lot of people asking to see them because they didn't know. If you watch the video, what did I call it? Revolutionary something? 189, I think, is the vlog number. Uh, you'll be able to see them there. All of them are sold out, but new examples are coming. Uh, hopefully soon. My heat doesn't work in the shop, so <laughs> we were working. Was it yesterday? Were we in there? Yeah. Oh, it's it, like every day he comes. It's awful. Yeah, he's a jinx. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work today, though. I was just in there and it was cold. 
So this morning when I was in there, it was a lot. Yeah, and Clint was yeah. here yeah. for a little bit, but he was gone by the time I went out there. Um, but man, it was freaking freezing when we were in there. The glue froze. So we couldn't do any new glue ups, uh, but we did some other stuff. If you're on my Patreon, I have a Patreon exclusive video for tier two and up that I posted about our mishaps of misadventures of uh, the heat not working. I tried to get it going. I don't know, it's, it was a whole thing. Anyway, what were you going to say? Oh, the paint. Is that all okay? I actually, if you watch the video, I actually even checked the paint and it was still pliable. Okay. But it has a different composition than than the glue. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyway, if you check out my recent videos, you'll be able to see what the banana bread boards are. Um, but also, if you just wait, I don't know how long, hopefully we get a new heater or a furnace, preferably a furnace. What we have in there is a heater, which doesn't filter the air. And I think that might be the problem, or at least that's what Armando thinks. He's going to come over later or tomorrow or something and have another look at it. Um, but anyway, the the new banana bread boards are gonna come out in batch F, um, which are gonna, there's gonna be banana bread boards and regular cutting boards and butcher blocks and chopping blocks and charcuterie boards and a pizza peel or two and some serving trays. So if you're on the list, we're gonna email you first. If you're not on the list, then whatever's left, is, is fair game for first come, first serve sort of thing. Um, I think that's it. Shall we play? Sure we shall. Okay. Guys, I asked you a question yesterday. Don't say it just oh. yet. Oh, we forgot to empty this. <laughs> um, that thing, this cabin, is where we're going to put all the names uh, that we are managed to write down from you guys, um, which we write on these pieces of paper. And at the end, we draw one name, and that person wins the gift. Um, questions are based off of our channel. Uh, some of them are are submitted by you guys, and some of them are from Ashley, and some of them are from me. Um, okay. Yesterday's question, though, you could have found, or today's cheater question that I asked yesterday, you could have found on another vlog, 143. And the question was, who is the desk name in the office desk? Better, better said, what is the name on the desk? There we go. Is this on live chat? There we go. Okay, so the correct answer, you can stop now. The correct answer was Agent Fox. Does anyone know who that's referencing? Dead goat Matthew. <laughs> so it was referencing Matthew uh, because I called him one. I called him Agent Fox. In a like, this is something that you wouldn't know because um, I did. I, it's not something that I I put on video because I was just talking to Matthew, our moderator, who I'm not sure if he's here today or not. I called him Agent Fox, and then. And then uh, I was like, oh, I'm just going to put that in the thing because it has a thing for it. And then, yeah, it's still there. I don't know if he saw it or not, but. Okay. Next question. Let's cross that one off there. Next question. These are some that I wrote down a little while ago. 
Ooh, okay. What kind of art does my brother Ken do? That's the next question. What kind of art does my brother Ken do? Looks like a lot of you know. Correct answer is photography, which by the way, if you email order from Ken at gmail.com, you can order his prints. You can find those on his Instagram at S H K E B O B. And Ashley manages that, the sales of his stuff. Um, he's going to be here for Christmas and we're going to try to get some more digitized in a way, or how do you call it? They're all digital, but like get them formatted or whatever for, for, uh, to print on canvas. Okay. These names are going too quick. Okay. Next question. Let me cross that one off. <laughs> what are the handles of the rat rod wheelbarrow made of? What are the handles made of of the wheelbarrow that I made? Correct answer is baseball bats. Um, I've used it a few times. We still haven't gotten a different wheelbarrow. I me remember all those people who thought you couldn't, uh, you weren't strong enough to, or whatever. I don't know what her, what was that lady? Twyla. She was like, get the lady a wheelbarrow. I don't know why, but people really had a problem with the wheelbarrow <laughs> being stuck in the ice and then me not trying to get it for you. But, I was fine, guys. It's totally fine. <laughs> I do it all the time. I literally was just there to film so you guys could see. Because we always get questions. How do you yeah. how do you clean out the chicken coop? Right. And so I was like, hey, I'll film it. I'll film it from start to finish. And then people were like, why aren't you helping her? <laughs> well, because I never help her with this. Because usually I'm not here. I'm <laughs> doing stuff. I don't know. How come no one ever asks you why you don't help me in the shop? Like, what the heck? How come Ashley doesn't help me wash the dishes? What the frick is wrong with her, right? <laughs> Get the man a dishwasher. No one says that. Actually, people did say, why don't you have a dishwasher? We got one. We got one. Clint yeah. gave one to us. He gifted us one. I don't know. Everyone meant well. Oh, they try to make me feel like shit, though. So I don't know if that's well. I didn't feel like shit, though. I didn't. <laughs> I hope not. No. I think I was even laughing. I was, I don't know. Anytime someone has a problem, I try to make it into a funnier matter than a more serious matter. Because, again, you don't understand inflection and... Right. And context of some people's comments or many people's comments because you can't see their face. They're not saying it out loud. When they're, here, they're... when they're here, they probably wouldn't have said anything, actually. But maybe they would have. I don't know. Okay. This one is probably going to be a little bit of a harder question, but maybe not. We'll see. I, I, I wrote this down thinking, hmm, I wonder if anyone will get this. So Ashley's brother, Joel, and his wife, uh, bought a house and I helped them board it 
uh, the basement uh, in certain areas. We had to do some 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 drywall. I accidentally cut a hole to in the wrong spot, and then I was like, "Frick, I don't want to." What I would do, you can patch it, but I hate patches on ceilings because just the way that they tape out i just think they look bad in the end even if you're really good at it i was like i'll take down the whole drywall and i'll rebeat it and everything i'm like but that's a pain in the butt so i'm just gonna make it a bigger hole i'm gonna join the hole where i put it in the wrong spot and the hole where it's supposed to be cut out the vent because it's a return everyone's already talking it's already guessing yeah but they're not even saying anything Oh, someone said it right. The thing is, <laughs> what did what was the vent sculptural part? What was the sculptural part? It can be something like that. Okay. Uh, some people's answer because sometimes you got to be specific sometimes not so sometimes people are saying <laughs> that's kind of funny <laughs> okay if you said something to the effect of i see people are copying other people now if you said something like pine cone or pine tree or pine branch or something like that that's an acceptable answer thank you um, I've made stuff like that before, but that one was definitely like the coolest functional vent that I've made. Um, when we do our vents, I am definitely going to make them, not necessarily that, but I'm going to make them different. Like there's this cold air return rate down here that is in the bedroom and in like this living room area. And I was like, it would be so cool if we had like a diorama in there because there's a, the floor joist, one of them sh shows up in there or a piece of blocking or whatever. Um, I was like, it would be awesome if, <laughs> if we had like, I could do a forest inside the vent so you can only see it at certain angles. And it's, and then there's like a Bigfoot, the classic Bigfoot posed i'd make them out of metal or something put them in there i also thought it'd be cool to have like a bunch of doll heads in there like one two three four four or five doll heads in there and you could see them because the vent is louvered that we have now it's just like a conventional store-bought one but it, it's currently upside down so when you walk up to it you can see down because it's upside down the louvers are facing up um so at a certain depth from it, you can see into it. I thought it'd be fun to just have something like, what, what did I just see? And then just have these creepy glass doll heads, but we're not gonna do that. Oh, that's terrifying. Or, or like a crocodile skull or something. Oh, something more. Actually a crocodile skull wouldn't fit in there. Creepy. Like a, like a foot or something. No. Severed foot. Yeah, go back to the island. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, next question. Oh, by the way, when I, when I sell the answer, that's the same as stop. Um, but you can keep writing that you're welcome to do whatever you want. Um, here's the answer in case you don't know, which I think you do know, but what color is Dakota's childhood shovel? Oh, and I have some news. What color is Dakota's childhood shovel? <laughs> Some people obviously did not watch that video, which is fine. Or I didn't notice. They definitely would have noticed. It was like a main part, sort of. Not a main part, but main-ish part. Correct answer is green. 
Here's another question we'll ask in a second here. But I, first, I want to tell you, I want to give you guys uh, some news. The What Not Shovel on Redemption. I'm going to give you a hint. Okay? Because I watched it again yesterday. And I realized that he does not say What Not Shovel on Redemption. He says, What Not Shovel space of some word i don't even know what it is on redemption the reason why i remember the on redemption thing is because that's the part that i could understand and i hadn't seen that for years and then when it became a thing that we started doing here and like from uh, the the nine hour live or whatever i just did that to jakota or something or no we were playing a game with the audience at the time trying to see if people would guess that Anyways, that's what I remember. The whatnot shovel on redemption. Anyways, I watched it again yesterday. Um, and uh, he says, one not shovel, something, something, something on redemption. I can't make out what he's saying through there. Now, I will say this as well. If you have to ask me if what you're guessing is what it's from, the answer is no. You will know 100%. You will, there will be no doubt in your mind that when you find it, that's what it is, okay? Those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, we have a, we have a bounty on the clip, if you will. If you guys can tell me what One Not Shovel on Redemption is from, you win a, this is separate from the 12 Days of Christmas. This goes always and forever until someone finds it. Could be years, probably will be years. It took me a long time to find it myself. Um, but anyway, you win any print of any size of mine at any value for free. I've been saying a $1,600 print because that just happens to be my most expensive one. But let's say that my artwork gains huge value in 10 years and it, the print is worth $10,000. That would be awesome and not likely, but let's say it does. You get the print for free if you tell me. Again, if you have to ask me if it's from Holes or Red Dead Redemption or whatever else, or Shawshank Redemption, if you have to ask me, the answer is no. You will want, you will 100% know. Well, how I've been answering those is I don't usually say no. I usually say, show me where it is in that movie, in that game in that show and then I will, but no one ever comes back again because when they watch the movie or play the game or watch the show, they're like, oh yeah, no, he, that, that doesn't, yeah. It's an actual phrase said, okay? <laughs> no hints because the prize is worth the hardness. The hardness? That's not the right way to say that. The difficulty level, yeah. Um, I'm trying to have you not win, obviously. Like, I don't I don't want anyone to get. I want to keep going with this forever. You even tricked me. Oh, yeah, I told, yeah. I'm, I won't say what I, yeah, because I didn't want you to slip up and say, oh, that's from yeah. this. So I told her it was from something else, which I didn't even remember that I told her. Because, like, I showed it to her yesterday for the first time. Yeah. And I was so confused. I'm like, wait, that's not where it's from. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, let's go back down to here. Whoops. So did I say the correct answer to that last question was green? I just said it. Do I have to give the name of the guys? What would you say? Hold on. Let me find your comment. Jack, okay, from when he, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let's see, let's see. Oh my God, I am so wrong. Okay, your comments are too far apart. Lulu Bell's been searching for months. From when he is telling the guy where to find the hidden stash and where it was, he realizes that he does not have to shovel. Okay, and he says that phrase, what not shovel, 
on redemption? Does he say that? See, again, if you have to ask me, you're wrong. <laughs> you, you're you going to tell me. You're going to be like, oh, my God, Josh, it's from blank. It's from this. I saw it on this, or I, I don't want to give any hints. The answer is whatever you that's from is no. But I don't often answer with a no. I often answer with a show me. Because you can't show me unless unless it's it. I'm not tricking you. What not shovel on redemption are words that are said in something. Some sort of media that you can consume with your eyeballs and ears. Okay? Moving picture media. <laughs> okay? I'm being super vague because, again, the prize... Like, it'll cost me, because it'll be free shipped anywhere, printed, stretched, whatever you want. Any print. I might even up it in years to come. I might be like, any original. Or my most expensive original sold was like, was it $6,000 or was it $5,000? The big Einstein. I can't remember how much it was. But maybe in five years, that'll be, everyone will sell for $5,000. I don't know. One can hope. He mentioned he put one up on Patreon and he did a live on Instagram the other day. Oh, what? Billy Graham was wondering where your video went. He said he posted it with the cutting boards on the heat and then it was gone. Uh, maybe on Instagram she's talking about. I thought that video, I don't know what happened to it. I didn't. I didn't delete it, but I don't know. I don't even know when it conked out, but I have one on Patreon, which is just for Patreon tier two, three, and four. Going back, he says it. Now I am determined, LOL. Okay. If you can show me, you have to show me. You, ha you have to be... You're not going to wonder. I'm telling you, you're not going to wonder. You're going to see it one day and you're going to be like, oh my God, <laughs> this is it. You're not going to be like, I got to ask Josh if this is it. You're going to be like, I'm going to tell Josh that I found it. It's this and it's, it's, there's no way it's not this because it's only happened. Technically, it's happened a few times. So you might even be able to find a couple sources of it. All of them count. Except for any time that I've said it. It has to be when in this, it has to be the media that I have consumed. It can't be media after it. Although there might be some circumstance where that changes. I don't know. But it, it's so hard to explain to you without telling you. Anyway, next question is, what color is my childhood shovel? Hello, Tracy. Thanks for coming in. I am so confused, LOL. Okay. Okay, correct answer was or is red. The correct answer is red. Um, so stop. Okay, and we'll do one more. We'll do two more questions. What color did my childhood shovel turn? <laughs> Hank? Is that true? Ashley. I'm guessing. Why would you guess? I'm sorry. They're supposed to guess. This is the second time that she did this. That's why you didn't tell me the answer to the other thing. <laughs> Yeah, the correct answer is pink. 
Why would you do that? <laughs> Care to tell them what my favorite garden vegetable is? No. Next question is, the correct answer was pink. I only wrote down one name, but what's my favorite vegetable from the garden? Fresh vegetable. That's the next question. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> the game is for them to play. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Has anyone seen that video? Where it's, what happens? I forget. Does he get like water spilt on him? And he's like, I can't believe you've done this. Billberries? I don't even know what that is. The correct answer is peas. I don't know. That was weird. The correct answer was peas. Okay, because Ashley just spilled the peas on the last one, we will at, we'll ask one more question. Oh, this is actually a good question. This is one that came from a viewer. Who... <laughs> this one right here. Don't say it. <laughs> I can't read it. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> Bacon. Oh, hell, I do not know. Okay. Santa Claus. Oh, because I just said who. <laughs> who? That's not the full question. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ask. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't waiting. I wasn't waiting. I was waiting for people to stop answering the last question. Um, okay. Here's the last question for today. Oh, do we have a cheater question for tomorrow? We'll have to come up with one right now. Um, okay, next last question of today is whose head pops up in the trailer series? Whose head pops up in the trailer series? Pops up in two separate videos, as far as I remember. My pieces of paper are sticking together. There's a bunch of like isms that go with my channel now. Some of them are Easter eggy, some of them are. What do you mean? You know, like I got this person's head popping up. Landon's name. Landon's name, yeah, that one's annoying. <laughs> For you to put in. Yeah. <laughs> it just takes forever. <laughs> okay, correct answer is Daryl. If you didn't spell his name correctly, that's fine. His name actually might even be Daryl. <laughs> he called me yesterday because I need a new furnace for my shop, and he has a heater. I don't think it'll work because it's not. I need one that's got a filter. Um, but anyways, he called me yesterday and he should, he said, he's like, you should make one of the questions about my head popping up or whatever he said. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. I'll write that down. So that's the last question today. Okay. So almost out of paper, but not quite. We have enough for tomorrow. Well, we'll make more. Daryl Brown is the correct answer. 
excuse me. So, yeah, Daryl Brown. Okay, let me cross that one off there. We have one more question on here, but we'll save that for tomorrow. These ones are all spent. We asked all these. Okay. Good, 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 good. Let me, let me, help me help you. Help me help you. I have to go through my catalog of videos here and come up with a cheater question for tomorrow. So Ashley's going to mix up the names for us here so that all the bottom names and the top names, they get all mixed up. So everyone has an even chance. Remember, I do not care who wins. Ashley does not care who wins. We are thankful for everyone. Oh, there he is, Daryl Brown. Throw an extra Daryl in there for submitting a question. If he wins, I didn't write him down at all. Did you? No, I didn't. If he wins, that is incredibly lucky because there's like probably like a hundred names in there. Um, okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we don't care who wins. We don't care if Daryl wins. We're thankful for everyone and all their various support. Mm -hmm. Thinking of what I could ask about this video. What has not a very many views? Okay, here's one. I'm gonna write this down so I don't forget to ask it tomorrow. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'll ask that question in a second. But first, we're going to draw for the treat box sponsored by... What if the person who sponsored this wins? Uh, sponsored by Anonymous. They don't want to be mentioned. But thank you so much for getting these for the folks to enjoy. Um, Ashley mixed up all these names. Look how many there are in there. There's tons. Actually, it doesn't look like that much, but there is. These are these are kind of sticking together. Like, look how much. These papers are smaller. They're much smaller. Okay. I don't care who wins. Remember that. I know that we have some people who get butt hurt when they don't win. But Ashley, pick a name, please. She's not looking. Oh. Okay, she had one in her hand. Oh. <laughs> then she just dropped it. Norma Heitkamp. Norma Heitkamp, you win the treat box. Hopefully you're not Canadian so that, it, you know, it's something that you're not used to having as treats in wherever you live. Uh, hey, she's, here. she's here. Awesome. What I need you to do is uh, email me. Order from Josh at gmail.com. Email Wow, I said that weird. Email me your uh, mailing address. And if you're outside of Canada, I'll see your phone number for customs. We'll send this out to you free of charge. It will also have the Italiano in there, which I forgot to, we forgot to put in there. Um, let me do this. Um, as for everyone else, thank you so much for playing. We have four more to go. Four more 12 Days of Christmas to go this year. Um, we have uh, some ideas of prizes, but tomorrow's prize is going to be... Which one is going to be easier to take off? This one? 
I'll take off this. It's going to be this guy, this little snowman. I used to make these uh, when me and my brother Will had a store in uh, in town, and we made these during the Christmas season because they were super easy to make and super easy to sell. Um, I did tell you guys I was going to make these this year, but obviously with my freaking head thing, it just didn't work out. But now that I got a new guy working with me. Hopefully, we'll just have a stockpile of these ready to go out next year for those who are interested. Oh, this guy's pipe broke. Okay, we won't give that one away. No, it's not a pipe. No, it broke. Yeah. This one's easy to take off. Okay, this is the one that we'll give. Ah, what is that? Oh, never mind. That was just some, some schmutz. This will be the guy that we give away. Um, they're uh, made out of... Uh, should that be one of the questions? Nah. They're made out of uh, balusters from like their oak. They're made out of oak balusters. And I just, I just carve them up a little bit and uh, put a little hat on him made out of some dowel and plywood i think i don't know and then his nose look at that nose and his eyes anyways these are uh i can't remember how much i sold them for like 15 bucks or something but anyways i made a ton of them and these are just some that were left over um, but that's going to be uh not made from snow no not this guy uh that's going to be tomorrow's gift away. And the question, don't answer it now if you know it. Don't answer it now. I know sometimes people just want to. It's very annoying. Don't do it. Don't do it or we're going to block you forever. No, we're not really going to do that. I'm just kidding. I will pick a new, another question if you do. So don't do it. What is, this is the question for tomorrow. Don't answer it now. What is Mr. Potato Head's occupation in another vlog 137. Don't answer it now. <laughs> Chris is actually going to give us the answer to tomorrow's question. She probably would. <laughs> what is Mr. Potato Head's occupation in another vlog 137? So you can go back to that video, watch it, and and then then tomorrow you'll know it. Bonus question. What happens to him? I got to write that down so I remember. <laughs> the next question will be what happens to him. Okay. I remember Mr. Potato Head. Everyone does. That's Do you sell your Chicago baseball caps? Ask Mark. Mark Vaughn. You know, Mark... Hey, is that Mark from the guy who said that we should... No, that was a different Mark, I think. Oh. I was going to be like, he made it. But I guess that's a different Mark. Mark. No, I don't. This is the short answer. This is this is, was my thing. I wanted to support local. And I wanted to have a certain okay. type of material. And then the company that I found that I liked... Got super flaky, and then they just gave me an absolute shit product, and it took months. And I, oh, I was so mad at them, and I still don't like them. But yeah, I'm not gonna use them ever again because they're trash. Not they're not trash. Not the guy I dealt with, but or maybe it's his fault. I don't know. Whoever was dealing with my order, it took way too long, and then the samples they gave me was not what I asked for, which is a good thing that I didn't I didn't get a whole order because that would have been. Yeah, that would have been, I wouldn't have paid for it, I guess. But anyway, uh, then I've gone to several other local companies, but they're just, they don't sell wholesale unless you buy like, like 500 of them. And that would cost me like, how much did, how much did I buy? 40? Yeah, 40 cost me a thousand dollars or 20. No, no 40. Cost me a thousand dollars. Imagine five hundred. Oh that would cost way more. Um, so, right, I sold them for forty. 
So I bought them for $21 or something like that, or $20 and 50 cents or something like that. I can't remember. Expensive, uh, the way that I did it, because I, I just picked the most expensive hat because I liked it the best. Um, and I was like, whatever. Like, typically, you want to make three times what it costs you to make to, like, as a business thing. But I was like, who's going to buy a hat that costs $60? Yeah. Maybe some people would have, but. The most I've ever spent on a hat is forty dollars, so I was like forty dollars. That sounds good. Plus, you still have to pay shipping. What am I going to do about it? I'm going to get my hats made at the same place that Dakota gets his hats made, uh, but it's it's different. You, it's like it's different. So it's annoying. So it's not on my it's not on my top priorities unfortunately because i know a lot of people would like to have them and i really appreciate that maybe at some point i'll be able to do everything in-house in a, to a certain extent where i will be able to order a thousand hats or a hundred hat a thousand hats where does that come from a <laughs> hundred hats um yeah anyway what was i gonna say what was the next thing yeah, I don't have hats, but I was gonna. I was gonna. I had a clever thing to go on, but it is whatever. It doesn't matter, guys. We're having a sale right now. Buy one get one of our un our, our open edition paper prints. These are printed on eleven by seventeen. Minus these ones are cut to framing size. But as you can see here, Ray Charles only fits on a little like I'm on two thirds of the page. So then I just added this, but. If you get this framed up, you can just cut that right off if you wanted to, and then you can just have this, um, and then you get that framed up. That would be like a 11 by 11, because this is a square picture. Um, they're all printed on 11 by 17 paper, but some of them, just, they just have like a bar on the bottom and the top, or, you know, they're just different depending. If they look good, if this looked good to cover the whole page, then I then he would be covering the whole page. But this one in particular didn't look good because it cut off most of his, most of what the picture was about. But anyway, these are the ones that are on sale. Buy one, get one. You can find them all. Remember, this is going to go. Uh, who? Norma? Norma, you get the you get the shitty eagle picture as well. Um, the. Uh, sorry, I derailed myself again. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? I don't know. Guys, I had a rough IMS session. Remember last time I said didn't hurt at all? Most of them didn't hurt at all. Today I was like, dude, are you doing these in different places? And he's like, no, I'm just going more aggressive. I'm like, are you doing it more aggressive because I told you they didn't hurt last time? But I actually asked him, I'm like, put in more. So we have faster progress. And then I regretted it. I was like, dang, dude. He did some in my armpits. Those ones didn't hurt. Well, they hurt. One of them hurt a little bit. <laughs> the ones on my neck, he went really high. And I was like, dang, dude. Then he put me in the neck stretcher thing. And anyway, so I'm I'm not maybe I'm the same as I always am, but I feel like I'm like a little worn out. And so I'm forgetting what I'm saying. <laughs> also went to another eye, iridology, iridology. Oh, yeah. Ask you how that went. Dude, it's fake. It has to be fake. Oh, it wasn't good? Well, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know if it's fake. It, it seems like he knows what he's talking about, but I'm just like, but that doesn't make any sense, what bro. What did you say with the glasses? Oh yeah, where are the? Oh, I left them. I left them in my vehicle. He gave me these glasses that are supposed to help. They're not his glasses. They're some doctor, someone who I don't know if he's a real doctor or just someone. I don't know. Doctor. He knew his name, and he's like doctor, someone, someone, and he's whatever. There's these orange glasses. To me, they just look like sunglasses that are not very stylish. I'm supposed to wear them. When I watch TV, but it, it makes everything suck on TV. It's just <laughs> like everything's orange. 
But anyways, he wanted he wanted uh, he wanted me to try them and tell him what I thought of them, which I told him I'm like, dude, it makes everything suck. Doctor Nick, <laughs> I don't think he's a doctor. It wasn't. It's not like a Doctor Scholes where you're like, oh, he's the guy who invented that product. It's like Doctor like some German name. Is Nick a German name? Nicholas? No, that's Nicholas. That's like uh, Dimitri. She Nicholas. Sling blade. Sling blade. What is that again? Wait. Ashley, maybe you should go too so you can get the full story. Yeah, she can come if she wants to. Uh, I think that you would scoff at it more than me as a <laughs> medical professional. I think you might be like, huh? <laughs> like, but my doctor was like, try everything that you hear of because they can't figure it out, right? So he's like, so someone out there, like things exist because they must work sometimes on someone. And he's like, you're a, probably a one in a million. So we did the math. At one in a million people, diseases or, or ailments or whatever, one in a million people, anything. That means that only, I think it's only 8,000 people have what I have currently. And no one cares about numbers that small when there's 8 billion people or 7 billion. I can't remember how I did the math. Dr. Nick from The Simpsons. Oh, okay. Dr. Frankenstein. Sling Blade, great movie. Oh, you're asking me if the whatnot shovel is from Sling Blade? Again, if you have to ask me, it probably isn't. Why don't you watch that movie and then tell me where it is in that movie so I can go check? Um, Doogie Hauser was a short run show. Josh needs house. He is much better. Ooh, house. Yeah, Dr. House. He could probably figure it out. He would just need to take some Vicodin limp over to my bed, tell me that I'm a piece of shit for going to the hospital, and then he'd figure it out. Or that's how he did everyone else's. You're just like, you're weak. You're, you're suffering from some technical name. So, <laughs> bitchyitis. No, you didn't watch it with me. No, I didn't. I watched the whole show on that was, Netflix. That was no. No? Nope. No, it was after. Where was I? I don't know. I watched it all the time. Like that was like just a show that I watched. He would guess lupus. Oh, I think I asked about lupus before. Um, yeah, because someone suggested that, but I can't remember what was said about lupus. But it's not. It's not that. Because lupus. Yeah, I can't remember. That's an eye thing, right? Yeah, someone someone asked me about that, so I wrote that down. I write down a lot of things, and then I'm like, okay, I got a laundry list of things. Is it this? 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 Some of the some of the times, he'll laugh. He'll be like, no, it's not that. Do you have a headache today, Ashton? I have a headache every day, but it's actually not that bad today. That's one thing. I think that the physio might be helping a bit, but lupus is a lot of things. Okay. Uh, it says less than 1% of the population has that increasing in Inuit Eskimo is Cree considered that. I don't know what you said before. Let me look up here. Well, I don't know what you said. Maybe say what you said all, all again. It says that it says less than 1% of the population has that. What is that? Increasing in Inuit Eskimo. Okay, well, Inuit are not, they're, they're like, a, they're, they're, a, they're like a separate, would you call it a race? They're like a separate race, I guess. I don't, I don't how do you say that? I don't know. I don't know. It's like the same as like British people and, Irish people are they're not like that. they're not the same but they're both white I don't know narrow angles 
Oh, narrow angles. I don't know. Dakota's going to get checked for narrow angles on tomorrow? Or, Did he rebook it somehow? Or Monday. He's, yeah, Monday. Uh, how has always thought people had lupus before working it out? Fibromyalgia causes eye issues. I know I have it. Oh, I know I have it. Uh, well, I don't have that. I hear that sucks, so I'm glad I don't have it, but I'm sorry that you do. Glaucoma runs in my family for many generations. Oh, dang. So I, I guess I don't technically have glaucoma. I have narrow, angle. narrow angles that causes glaucoma. And the glaucoma that I am susceptible to is rapid acute. What is it? Something about yeah. glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in that one video and I put I put a little thing because I couldn't remember what it was called when I was speaking about it. So I came home and I looked it up and then I, or I didn't look it up. Yeah, I looked it up, but like in my paperwork and then, then put it out in the edit. Um, but anyways, anyways, guys, why are we talking about being sick? This is a, this is a good time of year. And dinner's ready, so perfect timing. Tomorrow, remember, we're giving away this guy. And the question, don't answer it now. What is Mr. Potato Head's occupation in another vlog 137? What is Mr. Potato Head's occupation in another vlog 137? So go back, watch that video. You'll see it. Then you'll be like, oh, okay, that's what it is. I will note that for tomorrow. And uh, we will give away... We'll give away this, and we have a couple more ideas of things to give away. What's for dinner? Lasagna. Lasagna, Garfield's favorite meal. Anyways, thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, as always, there is a link in the description to our new sponsor, Practical Homestead. You can save 10% off anything on our website on your next order uh, if you use the promo code Josh 10, all in capitals. There's a link to her website. Check out her different things. We partnered with her with our banana bread boards. And then she was like, you know what? Let's extend it to other things. So when you buy something from her, it actually helps me out. Um, it also helps her out, of course. And you get a great product that's reusable and great, better for the environment uh, than, you know, using saran wrap and sandwich bags and stuff like that. Um, so check them out if you would like. They make great Christmas gifts. They're Canadian-made product, handmade by her and her team. And I believe in them. And if you like what I believe in, then you hopefully will like it. We use them. We bought them. Well, first she sent us them because we didn't even know it. Yeah. We didn't know she existed. And then we bought more and we use them. And uh, they're great. And we actually have in batch F, we have we have another partnership with her, with uh, our cheese boards. We're going to have, I guess this is a, not a sneak peek because I'm not showing you them. It's a, it's a teaser. There we go. That's good. Uh, the cheese boards, if you want, will come with a cheese wrap to keep your cheese clean. <laughs> and, uh, and then I also have another product. Does anyone here... No, should I say it? No, 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 no. I don't know what you're even talking about. I'm talking about the... Uh... Oh, no. I shouldn't? No. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I have this new thing that, well, I actually inquired. I actually uh, tried to get a hold of a few people who, who manufacture this thing. I'm going to make a video of, of making some, but I don't have time to make it always. I don't think, unless I love making it. Who knows? But anyways, I'm going to have this. I can't say it, but it's very obvious. I'm going to get, I'm going to make that and I'm going to sell that as a thing. And I'm actually going to use it. I, it it's, it's funny. <laughs> but it's also good. Lyme disease? Yes, I'm going to manufacture Lyme disease. Let me just go farm some ticks. 
<laughs> no, um, I do not have Lyme disease. If that's what you're asking me, I don't have Lyme disease. Uh, or, or at least they didn't actually test me. So maybe I do. Avril Lavigne was Canadian. She had Lyme disease. People actually think that she was replaced by a body double because she has different beauty marks on her face and sounds a little bit different. She's older. Yeah. And she was out of the spotlight for a long time while yeah. dealing with the Lyme disease and getting married and divorced and then married again. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, the wasp thing could have could have uh, caused something. No, the answer is no, apparently, because I've asked about that as well several times. Uh, more so I mentioned it than asked about it. But anyway, that's it. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, have a good night and Merry Christmas.